Hi guys, today we are going to try a new craft activity and we are going to make something called Shrinkies and I saw this on the internet when my friend made some and it looks so cool I thought okay I've got to try this with some of our favourite characters such as the number blocks or Hey Dougie so what you need is you need some of these markers they're called Sharpie markers and they're permanent and you can buy a set like this with is it 24 colours for just £8 which is not bad so you can ask your parents if they can uh, buy some of these or find some permanent markers of any kind and then you need some of this which is A4 shrink plastic clear you can buy pre-made sets that already have shapes and all you have to do is colour them in or you can buy the plain ones and then you can make whatever you like now this is the first time I've done this so I hope it's not a mess but you never know <laughs> you can only try you can only try so it's not is it this no it's not oh, okay so this is what it looks like guys it's plastic you can see the light on it and it's like this okay that kind of texture okay so i don't know if it's going to work but i'm going to use this annual and i'm going to find something that i want to trace i want to find the number blocks ah here you go so i'm thinking if i trace the number blocks if we do one two and maybe three we can see what that show turns up like so all i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my pack of sharpies and I'm going to lay this on top, but you can draw freehand or you can trace. I'm going to trace because, you know, um, I'm not that great at drawing freehand. Now they don't have a dark red in this kit, only a light, um, a bright red. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to mix it with a bit of black and seeing if it will blend to make that darker red shade that's around number block one's um, eyes. Okay, so now let's lift off and see. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. My colouring in could be better though. <laughs> let's try again. Let's try number block two and see what number block two looks like. I'll leave a bit of space there. I don't want to smudge. But this time I'm going to grab a purple and a medium orange if they have one. They do. So let's try this. I'm going to grab my purple, actually I think I'll go for a darker purple, this shade of purple I think. And then finally a little bit of this light pink for the mouth I think, oops. A little bit of the black in the middle. Now these are the fine tip um, sharpies, it could be that it works a bit better. It you might work better with the uh, thicker tip ones but we're just experimenting and finally let's try and trace three I've got some different shades of yellow and red oh we need black as well See how that looks. <laughs> the yellow colour is quite hard to see because it's very, very light on the shiny surface, but we can still add some more colour and let's just see how it looks after we've baked it. So the next thing we have to do according to the instructions is to preheat the oven to gas mark 3 or 160 degrees. Then I have to cut out my artwork uh, place on clean baking tray on oven for one to three minutes and it says that it will curl when it starts to cook and then it should be flat and you leave the 10 minutes to dry okay so here is the plastic so let's cut these I'll move this book out of the way I'll cut 
these now I'm not sure if they'll smudge or not I hope not but you never know so I'm gonna cut these out first and then go around them carefully like this I'm not very good at cutting so I'll just go around them roughly like this and we'll see how they look once they come out of the oven try not to touch it in case it smudges I'm going to leave a little bit here oops in case you want to make it into a key ring. It's a daisy. Yeah, I don't think I can do that now. Never mind. There you go. Put that onto the baking tray. And then I will do number block number two. I'll also cut out number three while I'm fine here. Oops. Careful how you cut the plastic, it makes it all bendy. Okay, so okay, so I'll put number two there. And then, oh, so number three, I mean. And then I'll cut number two. So I hope these look okay, we shall see. And it's just a practice. Mm -hmm. Make it curvy so it's not too sharp. Whoa, a bit close. <laughs> there you go. So we're gonna stick these guys into the oven. It says one to three minutes, so that's not very long, so. Let me just go stick these in and we'll see what they look like when they're done. So guys, I've just got these out of the oven after just two minutes and ta-da! Here is what they look like. I think they look pretty awesome. I can't believe how good they look. I'll pick one up. It's a little bit warm, not too hot. But you see in my hand, that's how small they've got. And all the kind of little messy lines, they don't, you can't actually see now that they've shrunk down. I think they look pretty good. And you could always leave a gap at the top and punch a hole in them and then you could wear them. You could use them as necklaces or you could put them on a key ring or maybe these ones you could put them on a pin badge if you like. But I think they're kind of awesome. What do you guys think? If you like these shrinkies, I will make some more with different characters if you like. Just let me know in the comments if you thought that was fun. I think it was pretty cool. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye! Guys, remember to like and subscribe. What do you like to see next?